Last time on Donkom Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. Good thing I installed all these LEDs and hover technology into the room. First game I asked Juko, she was like, no, it's stupid. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Donkom Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. So, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I didn't really elaborate on the entire ending of the last case because I was just so, I don't know how to explain it. I was so happy and I was so sad and I had so many different emotions. So here I am at the beginning of this video trying to explain them all to you. So first of all, the way the trial worked entirely, I was super surprised. There were so many cool mechanics in there. And they even fixed uh, Hangman's Gambit so it's not some infuriating piece of shit minigame that every time it comes up I want to cry. So I'm really happy of uh, what they did with that. The scrum debate was the hypest thing. Just hands down, nothing has beat it for me in a visual novel style game. The scrum, the, I think it's called the scrum debate, which is the whole like one side versus the other debating in the sky in the Monokuma heaven area in the roof. Um, that is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen mechanics-wise and Dongan Ropen entirely. Now to talk about the case itself and kind of, I don't know what I'm calling it a case like it's Ace Attorney, the trial, I, I've kind of come to accept after a lot of therapy and a lot of, uh, and mature reflection. <laughs> oh, you're the only main character I like. Why'd they do it? <laughs> I have kind of come to terms with the fact that Shuichi is going to be the new protagonist, and I'm okay with that. Um, as long as he, he may have an Ahoga under that hat. I saw a comment that's like, does he have an Ahoga under the hat, though? <laughs> I'm curious, too. I am curious. Um, Kaede's death and her, the whole thing was a surprise to me. I know some people got it right away. Uh, a lot of you guys are more clever than me and are by far. If you're watching this to watch me understand things and get lucky like I did with some of my guesses back in Edgeworth. I don't think that's going to happen as often, but I'll try my best to kind of piece things together. The fact that Kaede would just go to murder to solve her problem is really interesting and it's a change of character because I was waiting for the moment where she snapped and kind of went insane like every other Danganronpa character. And she didn't. She didn't at all. She had pure intentions for doing this. I mean, it's still murder, but she had the most pure possible intentions for doing this. And when she was caught, she didn't even hide it. Well, I mean, she hid it for a little bit to inspire uh, everyone else, but she didn't try to go like ape shit and start yelling and blaming people or anything. She was just like, nope, I did this. I screwed up. And that was what made the whole execution so sad. Now, the execution itself, I noticed some people, I think it was one on YouTube and one on Twitter, being like, I legitimately can't handle this. That was too brutal for me. And, um, how, where do I start with that? Well, first of all, I didn't really get affected by it as much as I should have, having Marathon Silent Hill 2 and 3 in the past few days before this. So I have seen much more graphic imagery, and that seemed kind of, uh, I don't know, it seemed kind of pale in comparison, but it definitely was a very gut-wrenching execution, and it's probably the most brutal one in the series. Honestly, for those of you who don't know and haven't played the other games, the executions in Danganronpa are usually really silly, and you don't really feel much of them. There's getting turned into butter, there's getting hit by a fire truck, there's being battered in a volcano and shot with missiles. There's being launched off on a rocket into space. There's so many silly ones. And um, the fact that this one, the very first one, is so grim and it's hard to laugh at it. I mean, I laughed at the fact that that uh, one of the monocubs was murdered in that scene. That's what I was laughing at, not Kaede to be clear. I thought that was hilarious. I was just like, well, guess we're gonna kill one, which is, well, I'm wondering, are they gonna kill one every time? For every single execution? Who knows? But, um, yeah, most of the executions are really, really silly, and this was a real tone setter. And, uh, call me messed up for thinking this way, and I don't know if the rest of them are gonna be like that. They might just return to being the silly ones from the other games. But, uh, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> and don't take that the wrong way as like, oh my god, so you know, you're some sort of sadist who just likes to see people die. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is... It was refreshing to see an execution that made me kind of s like sit up in my chair a little and go like, oh, that's uh, that's pretty bad. Because a lot of the time, the impacts of a character death don't come through when 
they go in such a silly way. But to have such a unique tone setter after two games for all of us players who have become almost numb to how executions work, it's like, okay, here's another one. And they found something to make people kind of just cringe a little and go like, okay, yeah, that's that's that. I think that's very well done. I couldn't tell you if all the other executions in this game are like that. Please don't spoil anything in the comment section if they are, just leave it be as is. Let's continue. But before we continue, I also have to say one more thing. Uh, Spike Chunsoft said, specifically, if you're going to LP this game past the first chapter, play it or whatever stream, you must give a notice that there are going to be spoilers from here on out, which I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, because it seemed like that giant part we just went through was quite a huge spoiler. But I have to warn you guys that there are going to be spoilers from here on out on behalf of Spike Chunsoft. So, uh, yeah, just notice that. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going from where we left off. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I am quite excited. What? They were oh. so young and talented. How could this happen? Wait a minute, what? Oh, are they all believed to be dead on the outside world? Oh my goodness, they think that they're all dead. Or is this in the future after it all happened? I just noticed that they put blurs around all the other uh, photos so you can't see who actually died and which one, or they might just be placeholder text. So that's one thing. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live. For our sake at least. What? Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. That's quite vague. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. Beginning of a Guilty Gear match. <laughs> Where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come on. Come out now. Hey! Oh, it's Gonta. <laughs> hey, come out, Bugs. Where are you all hiding? Mm. Just, just when Gonta think he finds some, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! <laughs> hey, bugs! <laughs> if any bugs here come out, going to want to talk to you just a little. Huh? Huh? What that? Something on ground in grass. Words written on it. Horsey. <laughs> Who knows what that means? <laughs> Wanda Koopa's like, I know Kaede's dead and you're all bummed out, but you have to come out of your room sometime. Ah! Oh. I see a Wanda Koopa doll right there, I'm gonna get you. Who, who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming! With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Oh, it's, uh, Kaito. Hey, hey what are you doing? It's already morning. K kaito Oh, hold on, Kaido. Oh no, these are just the ones that we've already collected. Apparently there was one during the Hangman's Gambit. Really? Huh, you would've known. I'm not much of a collector, and I just kinda go... I know there could be like some hidden stuff in the game that's like, Oh, if you collect all the Monokuma dolls, you can get the thing and thing, but... I'm not gonna like... Destroy the playthrough so I can look for Monokuma dolls, basically. Although I think they're cool. I want one of these shelves. Just saying. Uh, um. Uh, do you need something? Come on, man. Well, yeah, food. Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. So I came to get you. Huh? huh? But I don't recall making any plans. I mean. You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey. I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? 
Well, are you serious? You don't have breakfast? And what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Um. All right. Oh, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Ugh. Oh, wait. I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ah. All right. I was going to tell you. My bad. I, I'm i sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Yeah, I was very confused. The way they're all, like, chummy, I thought they were... This was, like, weeks in the future or something. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, that... It's okay. I see. I, I see. Then let's go. Oh. Okay, come on, Kaido. Let's go into the outside world. I'm not sure if there's a reward for collecting all the Monokuma dolls. I'm sure there is, but... And you guys did tell me to check out the, uh... The school store as soon as I could, so we're gonna go do that right now. If the game will let me. And hey, what are you doing? Everyone else is in the dining hall. We gotta get going. Alright, alright, just calm down. It's almost like nothing happened with this atmosphere, but who knows how it's gonna be once we get inside. Oh boy, this is too many people. Hmm. Writing? Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh... Um, Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we don't have to worry about it anymore. Jeez. Oh, Atua, that's not even suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Cut it out. That's not your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? Yeah, that were me. I probably would have just written that off. You know... Whatever, I brought Suichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Ah. Yeah. As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Good morning. Oh, he does have one! <laughs> you guys are right. You guys are definitely right. Good morning. Oh, Suichi. Um... You finally got rid of that emo hat! <laughs> Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? Oh my god, Kokichi! Quiet, you male! Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you could stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Oh, that's interesting. When he said, I don't need that anymore, he was talking about his hat. Oh, because, yeah, I guess he was kind of using it to avoid looking at people in the eyes and now he's kind of committed to doing so it was kind of like i refuse to look at the truth or whatever uh, um... you don't have to stare i just took off my hat it's not a big deal whoa he looks way better without the hat that is correct you are right my apologies Hi. i like it i think you look more handsome with your hat off thank you oh thank you <laughs> how nice for you unlike plain jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible Listen price. Up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Suichi. We o we already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really, you did? That is correct. Indeed, it was no trouble at all. I have prepared an Italian omelet buttermilk pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Kyo's face just like bashes through the back window and he's like, I heard the word pancakes. <laughs> Smoked salmon gallet? I never heard of that before. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kurumi, be my mom. <laughs> mm. Going to want you to be his mom too. Mm. What what are you two even oh, saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, I sh I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Oh, she's like a small animal. Stop it. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Yeah, she makes it hard for everyone to do anything. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. Amazing. Going to not mean to flatter, but all this food's so yummy. Excellent. <laughs> mm, it's so delicious, it makes me want to cut off my tongue. Oh, the pancakes just... Oh. Um, the rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls, either. <laughs> the outside is packed so tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is so nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. 
Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. Hmm. Oh, I forgot we have new voices with him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's it. <laughs> no, that's wrong. This conversation is going nowhere. Oh, I just thought about something. Do I retain my friendship points with Keo? Oh, They're all dead now. Maybe I should have hung out with Kaede's, or Suichi's Kaede, I don't know. I guess it didn't carry over, because I don't see the whole... Well, I mean, that sucks, but it also means I could spend more time with Korokio again. I'm not sure if I get the same results or not, though. The triangle shape this itself is less important than... Nope, shut up, Ko... Shut up! <laughs> I almost just called him Kokichi. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You'll find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. <sighs> yeah, I can't make rice balls even... I can't even tell a difference between rice and termites. Hey! How have you survived this long? <laughs> well? Hmm, what's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I totally forgot you can't eat, you know, because you're a robot. Hey! Hey now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV well. later. I do I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. <laughs> <laughs> so Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. Yeah, they do kind of seem to get along. Some of the things, I think this is one of my very few complaints I have with Danganronpa, is sometimes the characters are like standing together in rooms and I can't figure out why. Like, back in the last trial when we went to go get uh, Kyo and Kibo's alibis, uh, they were just standing in the room together. I have no idea what they were doing in there. I don't know, it seems a little weird sometimes when characters are just standing in a room with each other regardless of the fact that they don't interact at all. We were having a normal conversation as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal, it was a forced conversation. But that's to be expected, that incident that just happened yesterday after all. Everyone's forcing themselves, that's why. I'm gonna have to like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna have to like, uh, reform my Suichi voice a little, because I'm gonna have to be talking as him a lot more than I thought. This kind of forced normalcy is just what's making us remember what happened. Huh? What's the matter, Soichi? You're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah, uh, sorry. I, hey, I was gonna eat that. Don't worry, I'll just eat the plate. Wait, what? <laughs> just takes a giant bite out of the plate? This is astronaut food. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. By the way. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? Ah, fucking virgin! Ha, <laughs> quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Huh? Graffiti? Um, oh, going to find it this morning. Hey! On concrete, hidden in grass. Hor... Looks like it's separated, like, hey, O-R-S-E-A. Like someone was playing a game of horse. <laughs> the words horse A are written there. What, what do you think that means? Well, it's... Well, it's mis... Well, it's meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. This seems like something that would be hard to translate over as a clue to anything, you know? I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthro anthropology thing. God, that word's hard to say for some no. reason. Well, how about it, Suiji? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? Uh... I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Go to, I'm surprised you're able to find the graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Do you channel divine too? <laughs> no. Oh, that cause of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um, yeah, I going to think that before, but... But... When, wa when walking in the courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bugs so tiny, even going to know could see it, and going to have 20.625 eyesight? So g maybe going to just make a mistake, but going to think... Maybe... No, maybe going to just see degenerate things. Male. God, just make up your mind already, you degenerate. Means. So you found a message while you were chasing out some bug. Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it. I knew I could rely on on you since the moment we met. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> it's true. Yep, so you should work for me. Got it. Okay. 
What? You're just going to agree to it like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? He lies? Gonta, you didn't notice by now? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Thank goodness. Good, then Gonta have no reason to worry. You, will you just believe anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible... What the hell? What? Uh, just kidding, everyone. I'm a black albino. I activated devil trigger. You'll be killed before you know it, understand. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <laughs> oh, Kokichi, you know should say thing like that, even his joke. Mm -hmm. Say what? Kill? Has the K word been banned? S sorry, I this didn't know. This conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. H how can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm ready! This is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considered as a mo as a meat buzz. Hey! Don't complain if some scary guy yells, "What color is your blood?" at you? <laughs> you really pink in this care. universe. It's that, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, the reason the blood is pink, I saw someone asking that in the last video, it was actually for censorship reasons, but eventually they kind of just kept it because they thought it was an awesome stylistic choice. It's kind of like talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me, I was just talking to myself. Why did you just bounce off the top of the screen? Hello, looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. No, just go away. <laughs> yeah, they're having a go jolly good time ganging up on me. Isn't that your fault? Hmm, <gasps> ganging up? Hey! No bullying. Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst. Wait, wait, what? What is your school policies, Monokuma? You're Personally, I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. More importantly. Why are you even here? Yeah. I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A, a prize? Or oh, is he gonna open up a new part of the school? Rise and shine or sign. Um. Um, the reward, right? Uh, we we brought it. Yep. So I'll just give it to you then. Huh? My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. <laughs> Are you being bullied? Ha! Ah. Huh? Huh? Th that's, um, who's- wait, is Monodon bullying them now or something? I knew it. I knew it, I understand from experience. <gasps> from experience, Himiko, you're a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? <laughs> you're the worst of the worst! Gah, use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into mishappen wretches! <laughs> this conversation is going nowhere. I keep doing that on accident. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Ah, uh, hold on. The Monocups bully each other? What? No, no way. The Monocups should always get along. My hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other really bad, it's not bad because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. <laughs> we are all friends. We all get along, always. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right. See, my children are good kids. They never bully each other. Why, you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we Monocubs give, we Monocubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. How many times are you going to overuse that line? Ha <laughs> 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 such adorable little badasses. Got it? Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. Those look like shit. It's a, it's like a charm, an ocarina, from what I understand. Is that a socket wrench and a bouncy ball? A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. <laughs> I don't actually- I'm trying to get the references here. It's Zelda, ancient passport, don't- Dragon gem? Is that Fire Emblem or uh, Dragon Quest? And the socket wrench, are they referring to like 
Resident Evil? These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo, yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? No, they suck. They don't help any of us. What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth... Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there are, there's maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. Mm. How nice. No. <laughs> Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, the situation... That's the situation, so just do your best however you please. He's not encouraging any more killing yet. We... What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point? Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Is that an attack on Titan reference? I got that very quickly. No, no, not anything like that. Actually, Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I, I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah. What? Get along, really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Mono Kid, remember? So long, farewell. <laughs> I'm glad that they're dying off one by one, because I really don't like them, to be honest. <laughs> hmm, seeing that robot-looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? <laughs> so, what should we do with this junk? Maybe we need to use... Wait, maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. However. However. <laughs> and what will happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, well, we'll know once we try. I'll just take the junk then. No, let's leave this to Suichi. Huh? Huh, me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll try. Man. Man, whatevs. I guess that's fine. <laughs> so I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. This is a different way of doing things. All right, let's get going. All right, so now maybe we can go in here. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects here. I guess not. <laughs> mysterious objects. I can't think of any. This is cool, but I can't think of what any of this goes to. There was the one talisman spot in the hall. I just don't remember which hall. I guess we're just supposed to run around and try to solve this somehow. I don't even know what the hell I could possibly do with an ocarina. Oh, hi, Hamiko. What's up? Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. The wall came down? Ah. Was it because of my magic? No. Oh, no. I used an item on this object and... It's magic. It was my magic. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, okay, sure. I'll talk to Himiko for a second. What's up, Himiko? With my magic. Because of my magic, we're able to move right. on. R right. You. Isn't there something you should say? Uh, um... uh thank you? Hmm. You, hmm, you should rely on my magic from now on. <laughs> She's so adorable. Although, it makes me wonder, she could be a little crazier than we all think. Think people need to stop praising her nonsensical magic. This door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. It looks like Kaido's, I'd say. From the look of it, oh, I guess magicians? I just saw the star, but I'm like, yeah, that strawberry doesn't make a whole lot of sense. From the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Whoa, that's a room prepped for murder. That's true. As I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Mm. Whose research lab is this? It's, if it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, um. Right. Why are you asking me? Could you just stop talking to me? <laughs> Samugi, how did you get in here? To think that there was a room like this beyond that wall. I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Miyu and Kaede's research labs were open from the start. You're right. That's right. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's probably better to not bring up Kaede just yet, no. huh? Uh, no, it's fine. I'm I okay. See. I see. Well, that's relief. I was just plain worried. Um. I don't know how just yet, but like Kaede said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. 
Okay. Well, let's check out the room a little then, shall we? The saw. What a huge saw. This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Sumuki didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Okay. Right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre this situation is. Yeah, literally this room is open to a bunch of murder items. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Uh, um... What's this? It's a huge cauldron, like one a witch would be stirring a, in a children's Ew. book. Don't go touching wherever you want, that pot is collecting my mana. What, what, what the what the hell are you even talking about? M mana. <laughs> Don't you know it's a necessary energy source for magic? I see. Oh, I see you mean like ether or life mm. force. Hmm, the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana, it's perfect for me. Mm. Is that so? Although every response, Suichi's giving is like, right, right, you're all just kind of psychopaths. This thing is going to be used for magic too, I've seen it in a magic show. Uh, um. What is this? That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords, but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick, it's one of those space type spells. Huh? Space type? <laughs> Ooh, sounds like high-ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh, so in other words, you couldn't just be a mage. You'd have to be a sage. You need the words of wisdom for that. Sumugi, oh, Sumugi was somehow able to follow all of that. Um, this is a big cage. Hey. hey, Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you use that cage for? You. One I like to call bird hunting. <laughs> Just start shooting at the bird cage. I'll get them someday. I'm really bad at aiming though. Hey, Suichi, look at the edge of this gun. No, 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 no. <laughs> Accidentally kills all 14 or 13 remaining people with her bad aim. Well, I guess I won the killing game. <laughs> it's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Oh, sorry. I forgot about that. I use that for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Oh, you mean a trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Or you mean a magical animal? Yeah. Yes, it's right, but my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. What? A tiger cub? What is this? It must be so cute. I'm jealous of you being able to pet something so fluffy like that whenever. I admit, even I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> I wish. Well, no, not till it grows up and kills you. There's already, like, another Himiko, like, stage outfit. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trip, but it still kind of creeps me out. Nope, I've already looked at that. Oh, I guess maybe I haven't talked to Himiko yet. Yeah, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic, but this is pretty thorough collection. Hey! It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um Monokuma said that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles was made for all 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true? Hmm. Hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab okay. doesn't. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Hmm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work this isn't enough. This conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> it's magic. But I use real magic, not mat. We know, Himiko, we know. She's not going to budge an inch on that point. Yes, I would like to leave. Do we still have to use all these other items? I guess we do. I guess they all open research labs or somewhere, don't they? I couldn't even think of where the rest of these go. Hmm. Hmm, that's strange. What's strange? Oh, they uh, cleared out the trees. There are fewer plants around. Some places are being renovated as well. They did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still ongoing. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex in this large and secret? It's practically impossible with how satellites work. I just noticed there's a casino over there, isn't there? Oh, what are you two doing out here? Mysterious monument. <gasps> you need to play the notes. Versa, I, oh, I can't go back. Okay, whatever.
It's a pool. Does anyone's ultimate talent have to do with a pool, or is it just the pool? The vine suddenly withered. Mm -hmm. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Huh? Oh, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um... You intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. Rise and shine, or sign. No. No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? A pool. Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. The 24 hours, a 24-hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. That's wonderful. Wonderful explanation. <laughs> Huh? Th thank you. Are you stupid. Huh? I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you happy. So long, farewell. Seems like they have to show up like every five seconds for no reason to explain something. That's kind of simple. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are we? But if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should go take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. You're right. Yes, I suppose you're right. Whoa. That, is that even a diving board or is that just like a launch point? There's not enough pool water either, is there? Unless the pool is extremely deep. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up with more? Wow! Wow, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um... Too bad I don't know how to swim. Then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. <laughs> and that one is even farther. It's, it would still be cool to walk around at the bottom of the pool, though, wouldn't it? Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here, too. Huh? huh are you positive? Yes. Of course, there'd be no point having this pool here otherwise. Wow. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Um. So, where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true. All the closets seem to contain is spare uniforms. Hmm. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. What? How scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access uh, to? Um... I don't really think that's a problem. <gasps> oh, I get it. You're the worst of the worst! Degenerates only care about you swimsuit the <laughs> ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. That was actually my line of thought, so I can't I can't even refute that one. Hmm. I wonder if the day will, will will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering, if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pine? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry, but... Really? <laughs> I wonder if that's a reference they made in Japan, or that's just localized because something else was there in place. I don't know. W what? No. No, I believe bef that before you'd get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot in a boat. How can you be scared, though? You're a robot. It's a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. True. There's a door back here. Uh, um... This looks like a storage room. Hmm. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in here. It's fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way. Perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> Uh, I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. <laughs> you kind of would. I wish I had de I wish I had such detailed answers to more to my more important questions. Is that it? Oh, those are pool rules. Swimming is prohibited during nighttime. Do not die from a leg cramp. <laughs> Do not die from slipping. Do not die from choking on your food. Warning here. What? Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Rise and shine or sign. 
first. That's right. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. Actually, It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing game. So. You can visit the pool anytime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll just add it to the existing regulations, just in case. School regulations have been updated. Uh, anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to what swim. What the hell are you saying? You got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's right. There's enough water to swim. It only looks shallow because the pool is so um... deep. And if someone would be... Wait, and someone would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. And that's that. So that's that. They put a lot of thought into some strange that's things. Wonderful. wonderful explanation, everyone. Eh? What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. You stupid. Did you forget that he killed Monokin? You should hate his guts. <sighs> Screw Monokin. I always hated him. Yeah, me too. Okay. Kind of. He was so violent, vulgar, rude to, to, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Hey. Why did that sound like praise near the end? <laughs> so long. Is Monotaro supposed to be a ninja? That's what it looks like to me, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay. I wasn't planning on swimming. There are some. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Oh, all right. That's gonna help. That window must be the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool area are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty stand- wow. I don't think I've ever seen her just standing there smiling before, have I? <laughs> you look so terrible when you're just sitting around not yelling or making weird creepy death faces. It's pretty standard for a school to have a gym and the pool area near each other. Right. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about here? Uh, um... I... I don't know. Okay, well... Did I already examine the diving board? Maybe not. It's a large diving board. This is also something you'd find at a resort. Oh, I guess we did. I guess I didn't talk to Kibo, did I? No, I did. If I ever get a chance to ride a boat, I'll wear a state-of-the-art flotation device. <laughs> Good to know, Kibo. Thank you, you're being extremely helpful. This window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but... This window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? <gasps> Anyone could peep through that window! Huh? Peep? Who would do that? Um... I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. I'm not going to answer that question. But, like, you're at a pool. That's why you wear the swimsuits in the first place, I imagine. Would it be so bad to look at someone in a... I don't understand. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. Degenerate male. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. I think you may be overreacting a little. <gasps> Oh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? He has no gender. Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. <laughs> really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... <laughs> I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. Well, thank you, two. You were a lot of fun to hang out with, but I gotta go find where to put this rubber ball and where to throw the socket wrench, so hold on. I guess where people are standing is kind of a clue, isn't it? Because Himiko was standing next to one. And, um, Tenko and Kibo are standing next to the other. Meaning that if I go out here and someone's standing out here, it's likely next to the point. So we're not walking around in the dark, essentially. Kaede. When we all came to the trial grounds, what burden were you carrying with you? Oh, <laughs> Look how fast he runs. Jesus. There's some, like... Skinny kid who doesn't look like he ever bothers to work out or exercise or anything. He can sprint. Well, I know where the socket wrench goes. Got it. Oh, Suichi, have you solved the mystery of the junk yet? I mean, that weird projection here. I've got a feeling you can use that one thing with it. Ugh. Well, I've got no idea how though, because I'm stupid. I've never even seen a socket no. wrench. My hunches are usually right. Let's give it a try. <laughs> 
I can't. I can't look at it. Hold on. Like, what are you doing? So I, I can't look. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> he's just like running around and trying all these different angles to look at it. And he's like, I, I can't do it. <laughs> look at all those words all over the door. Could that match up with the, uh... Avaritia Luxulia. What? Oh, it's a word puzzle, isn't it? Very... I don't know, I suck at puzzles. Let's go! Casino! Wow, this water actually looks really nice. <laughs> And the Hotel Kuma Sutra. Okay, well... Let's let's go to the casino first. I, I don't want to know what Monokuma is doing in there. Oh, this is a remix of the main Danganronpa thing. Dongan Vegas. <laughs> What is this place? It's is this like a casino? How many remixes of the Danganronpa theme are there total now? Why, hello, bear. Um. This place is not like a casino. It is a okay. casino. Yeah, yeah, this place is a um. casino. You can earn lots of mon mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. <laughs> yep, yep, you sure can. <laughs> that was wonderfully amateurish, Monodom. It had a flavor not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, you've surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you a Grandpa Monodom. Grandpa Monodom. <laughs> they so seem to be growing to like him really quickly now that he's talking. A casino? Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange Mono coins for coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back, so know what you're doing. By now, you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you've saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize exchange counter. We're always getting new prizes in, so look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead. Let's play. That's what I'm already doing. I am let's playing right now. Alright, well, let's check out the casino. Well, you know, let's just go downstairs and check out some of these games. Hopefully they're not totally unfair and rigged, right? Right? They would never do that. Oh, it's Kaido. Got it. Oh, look, Suichi. K Kaido shouted and pointed at the treasure coins uh. in front of him. Whoa, where did you get that mountain of coins? Uh. I hit the jackpot. I got this much just from one uh. coin. All this from one coin? That's incredible. Uh. <laughs> just a regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Wah! Nice work, Maverick. That's some uncanny luck you got Whoa. there. Whoa, don't just jump out like that. <laughs> I just want to see, like, Nagito in the back of the thing just playing with the slot machines. Like, look at all this money I got. <laughs> He's just, like, slapping them up and down. He's like, it's like it never ends. It's just a never-ending pile of coins. Oh, don't just jump out like that. Yeah. My bad. I was lured here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. You could cash in those coins for something really splendid. What character is he playing? Well, well. They're only good here, though. But if you earn more, you could reach the best treasure in this place. Huh. Huh. After hearing that, there's no going back for me. Huh? But you could trade in what you already have right now. Come on, man. What are you saying? If I don't meet his challenge, I'm not a true man. Besides, there's no way my intuition of as Luminary of the Stars can be That's wrong. Nice. That's it, Maverick. You the man. <laughs> and thus began the sad tale of Kaido's downfall. <laughs> what? Oh, damn it. Not again. Well, well. What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best just to walk Shut away up. now? It's just half. I'm getting everything back. Just you watch me. Kaido inserted one coin after another, but a win never came. <laughs> Damn. Damn, this is my last coin. Let's go! This is every <laughs> this is where I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. You just you watch. Kaido slid his last coin into the slot with a determined stare, pulled the lever. Right here! <laughs> and then Kaido turned into Satan. Too bad. Too bad your intuition was totally wrong, Kaido. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn it. I was set up. If only I'd stomped while I was ahead. You do hear that from a lot of people who have gambled away everything. They think they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying Let's themselves. I I'm gonna quit gambling forever, you can bet on that. That is also typ typically what those people say. <laughs> Set price, rest, two guests, two hours. Hmm. That's, uh, that's blatant. Overnight, $45. Shift 9 p.m. to 11 a.m. next day. Shift after 3 a.m. Guests can stay until 2 p.m. next day. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. Oh, you're not gonna go inside? Come on. Even if it's by yourself, you can just go inside, right? Well, the only place I don't think I've checked is some of the other floors of the school, so I guess let's go and check those out. Okay, I guess not the basement. Probably the upper floors then. Yeah, there's something on the upper floor that we have to open with this magic. Oh, the dragon statue. I almost forgot. Whoa, there's a lot of people up here. Jeez. So you finally raised your head. Huh? Huh? Your... Up till yesterday, you're always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny that. This world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful, don't let your eyes deceive you. You're right. Yeah, you're right, thanks. Hmm, sorry for the unsolicited advice. You're cool sometimes, dude. Most of the time, actually. Ah, I knew you'd come to check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Thanks for the hint. What about you, Gonta? Hey! Suichi, is there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. Don't worry, Gonta. You're on my checklist if we need the muscle. What do you think? Have you recovered your injury? Huh? Injury? Yes. When Kaido struck you last okay. night. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. It didn't bruise or anything, yeah. see? Good. It should it hurt, uh, begin to hurt again. Please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of the medical supplies in the warehouse. Uh, um, you have medical experience too, Kirami. I am a, maid after all. a true maid must be able to adapt to any situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Kaede's request, so I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. Kirumi, it sounds like everyone has taken Kaede's final wish to heart. Even if Kaede is no longer with us, Kaede's wish will never vanish. That's one thing I noticed about her talent. It's It doesn't even seem to have to do with being a maid. It's like the ultimate good at, like, jack of all trades almost. Like, she's slightly good at everything. Hey! Go on, try to solve the puzzle. You're clearly a pro at playing with yourself. Thanks, Mew. I'll take that as moral support. Hmm. You look better now. I didn't think you'd get over Kaede's death so quickly. No. We don't have time to be standing around. No. How heartless. Guess you two weren't as close That's as you looked. True. That's not true. It's because of the wish Kaede gave me that I have to keep moving. I made a promise that I won't give up. Yeah, what was that, Maki? Thought that was kind of evident. Oh, what about you, Angie? I'm sure you're not even going to care. Oh, oh, it's you uh, who art in heaven. Please allow Rantaro un into thy kingdom. <laughs> oh, sorry, you were... I just knocked over my phone. This is a good day. Oh, sorry you were praying. Because yes. everyone's so sad over Kaede. They've forgotten about Rontaro. So I'm going to keep praying huh? for him. N no, it's not that we forgot. Uh, it's okay. It's easier for me to earn points if I pray. It's a shortcut to a platinum membership. <laughs> her religion has a point system? <laughs> oh, her religion is so weird. All right. I hope it just breathes flat. No, I'm just gonna break. Must be another, uh, student's lab. Ah, part of the wall is gone. Oh. Whoa, that's so cool. Can we get, ha we can get past this wall now? All right then, charge. <laughs> oh. Well, wait, charging in is dangerous. Um. 
Um, Kirumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel a stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite huh? some time. Nobody's been here for a long time? Exactly how long is a long time? Hmm, if I had to guess whose room this was... By the color palette, I might either say... Probably say Kyo's, if I had to guess. Or it could be, um... Hell, she's the only person's name I can't remember. What is her name? Kurumi. I don't know why I can't remember hers. <laughs> I just want to check around this area for a bit. Hopefully I'm not missing any Monokuma dolls. Try and keep my eyes out, or eyes open. Why is there a giant treasure chest back there? There's two labs here. Gontas is here too. From the look at this door, there's supposed to be an All ultimate right. research lab. All right, let's go inside. Ultimate made lab. What does that look like? Oh, like you can practice your mannerisms in here. I get it. The room gives off an antique vibe. <laughs> Kyo, what are you doing? He's just like eating the plastic food right off the plates. Nothing. <laughs> Kyo, you, you know that food's plastic. Well, humanity didn't eat regular food for all of time. Did you know back in the great plastic war of the 1700s, we all ate army men? Yes, that's what happened. Uh, I'm pretty sure that did- Shut up, that's what happened. All right. <laughs> These are Victorian. These decorations uh, uh, born the British Empire at the peak of the Queen at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. I apologize. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, era employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, that correct? correct? Ever the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. It does. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people as a stark reminder of their lower station. Excellent. Hmm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. Yeah, I could see how this would be interesting to Kyo too, rather than going to the bug lab with Gonta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Y oh yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kirumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Korokio closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The era is the 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of love that blooms between light and darkness of social classes. Hey. It sounds like the plot for a manga of a manga for girls. <laughs> Is that so? Then are you saying I am like some young love-struck girl? <laughs> so that's how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Yo, all it would take is like turn Kyo into a girl. <laughs> I bet there's like cross-dressing Kyo art. Please do not send me any if there is any. I will discover it on my own. <laughs> that sounds even weirder when I say it like that. I just... Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner. This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures must represent those I must serve. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Nope. Instead, there are a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will, pro will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? C cleaning? Y you mean the school? Kurumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that w that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will, grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything? 
It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. <laughs> these are some powerful cleaning tools. You could get a lot of cleaning done with these. Okay, I guess we finished up everything in there. Alright, fine by me. Uh, let's actually go check out Gonta's lab real quick. I'm curious. I also want to know what this is. What is this? A treasure chest? Yahoo! Yahoo we found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Suichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Suichi. Open the chest. Open it. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... I'm surprised it opened. I thought it would be locked. Huh? What is this? A flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Yoo-hoo! Maybe try turning hey. it on. No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect huh? it. Hmm? It'll be okay for the flashlight is saying, turn me on. <laughs> turn me on, hurry up and turn me on, Suichi. It's begging you. Then... Uh, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well, then... Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, Bye, huh? Yonara. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bye, Anara. <laughs> uh, I want to hang out with so many people. <laughs> I want to talk to all of them. I'm just scared that they're going to die every time I try to hang out with one. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Oh. Wait, inspect it how? It's a good question. Is there anything else? The treasure chest is empty. The flashlight was the only thing inside. Now this is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate entomologist lab? Is going to actually in here? Are there actually any bugs in here? Ugh. Are they fake? Whoa, look at all those bugs! Insect specimens line the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing! Uh, amazing, this paradise! I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. What's up, Gonta? Happy in your little bug room? Amazing! Amazing! Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta's so excited he got his own special room! Mm. Who make this room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you. Huh? Um, well, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. <gasps> but no way, Monokuma! <sighs> but no person who likes bug can be bad person. Gonta's sad. Aw, <laughs> oh, you tried, Gonta. So what's going on here? There are a lot of books in here. They all seem to be related to insects. So there's no living insects here, right? It's still odd. Bug cage. Whoa. Wow, that is an extraordinarily extraordinary amount of bugs. Oh, so there are some alive ones. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs. And they even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated. But... It's okay. Eggs probably hatch if going to take good care yeah. of them. I'll do your best then. If these all hatch, there'll be bugs all over the place. Releasing all these bugs into a new world, it's like that Bible study. Or Bible story, Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic. <laughs> Gonta is actually Jesus. New one, no one knew. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty! Bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks! <laughs> Going to understand, the person who made these samples must love bugs. With which uh, each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. As long as Gonta's is happy, I am happy. We've checked out every room except for upstairs, which we are going to check out next episode. Um, wow, I'm really enjoying actually running around and exploring everyone's labs. Um, it's a whole lot of fun, actually. I didn't expect it to be. I was a little worried, like, oh, here comes the point after the uh, trial. It's gonna get mundane again, but actually running around all these new areas and learning about these characters and seeing them. I think it's part of me that just likes to see people nerd out over something they absolutely love. And just seeing a bunch of, even if they're fictional characters, do that is, it's very soothing in a way. Anyways, next episode, we'll go and check out the upstairs section. If you guys are enjoying the series, I'm surprised at how many people were viewing the last episode. Seriously, I didn't, I didn't expect so many people to watch or even watch the series. So thank you if you are. And uh, if you have any tips, especially like things I should do or um, if it's worth, one question I have is if it's even worth hanging out with Kyo since I already hung out with him. 
Am I gonna get different dialogue this time, or is it gonna be the same exact conversation about his sister, and it's gonna be, like, a gargantuan waste of time lore-wise? Because if not, I'll probably hang out with someone else. So, let me know in the comment section. Thank you, and, uh, and have a wonderful day. Riding out.